Oh, hi! Another full face video coming in hot for you guys today. So today's full face video is going to be on a brand that's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. I've done some clean beauty full faces before where I've just done a big roundup of some of the clean brands that exist out there in the world. And I wanted to do a full face of Kyra Weiss today. And I'm choosing today to do so because they've recently had two really exciting launches within their brand. And I'm going to talk about that more later as we go. But Kyra Weiss is such a beautiful brand within the clean beauty space. They call themselves like luxury clean beauty. And I think the hashtag they use is enlightened beauty. And the packaging that they have is just positively divine. They've we're kind of known for this really beautiful metal packaging and their prices are very expensive, very luxe products. But recently they actually, I, I don't know if they're doing a full brand redo with this new packaging, but they have the red edition that they've come out with. And by the looks of what's on their website, it seems that they're slowly transitioning over most of their products to this, but they use this metal packaging. And the point was that you would buy the packaging once and then it's just completely refillable as time goes on. But the metal isn't the most technically clean and recyclable product that you could possibly use. So they've come out with the whole new red edition, which is fully recyclable, but still refillable packaging. So instead of the metal that they had before, they now have this really glorious cardboard, still very luxe looking red edition, which is very exciting. Taking the next step forward into sustainable and clean beauty with fully recyclable packaging, which is very exciting yet still refillable. So it's got a little magnet in there and you pop, there's a little hole back here and you can pop the products out. So this is the new red edition from Kyra Weiss. And they also recently launched the Invisible Touch Concealer, which I'm very excited about. The clean beauty space in terms of shade ranges and whatnot tends to be pretty lacking. A lot of brands have very, very limited shade ranges just across the board. But I think that there's a few that have much better shade ranges and Kyra Weiss seems to have a really even shade range across the board. They have 12 shades and based off of the models that they're using in their photos and the variety of the shades that they offer, they seem to do a better job than a lot of brands in the clean beauty space. So I'm excited to be doing a full face today. A lot of these products I haven't tried. I've had a few products from Kyra Weiss in the past that I've used and loved and let's just hop into it guys. I'm going to zoom you in and let's do a full face of Kyra Weiss. If you guys like these full face videos, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Channel. And if you have any other brands that you want me to do a full face of, please let me know in the comments down below. So starting out with the cream foundation here, this one is said to have a semi matte finish, medium buildable coverage, and it says to moisturize your skin extensively before applying it. They don't have like a makeup specific priming product or anything. So that's why I'm going right into the foundation. I did prime my face with the Max strobe cream because that's a very, a constant primer that I use. So it's usually a good test for me. And it says to use your hands or a foundation brush. So I'm using my Westman Atelier foundation brush and I'm going to go in. Now I checked, they actually sent me this new red edition line, which thank you, Kyra Weiss, Thank you so much. It doesn't actually say what shade this is on the back of the metal tin. So I'm not sure if that was just in their PR sampling or if that is constant, but it doesn't say the shade. So that's the one critique I'd say is, Hey, <laughs> I don't always remember what shades I'm buying. And when you're going to eventually, if you do like repurchase and refill this packaging, it'd be nice to know what the shade is. My neck has a bit of remnant fake tan on and my face is much more light. So I actually think that this color is going to go really nicely with that. And so far, like I'm kind of looking far away in my mirror. I'll, I'll check in a bit later, but I don't always, even though I have very dry skin, I don't always shy away from matte products because if it's a matte finish, that doesn't dry out the skin, then it can be really lovely and look very nice. So I don't always mind that, but this is applying really nicely so far. Like I am so sorry. I just realized that the cream foundation has 16 shades. The invisible touch concealer has 12 shades. My bad needed to correct myself. So this is one of those products that says it's benefiting and making your skin better with skincare ingredients as you apply it. I know when I previously used the Westman Atelier foundation, that's what a lot of the, your guys's comments actually were on the foundation saying that you felt like your skin was improved over time as you used it. So that's one of the nice things about the clean beauty space in general is that in general, <laughs> generally speaking, you can feel good about the ingredients that you're, you're putting on your skin and hopefully 
see improvement over time. That's always a nice thought. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. I have like the perfect amount of matte and glow still left on my skin, even with this semi matte finish. I do think it was able to build up. I would not call this a full coverage foundation. I would say light to medium with some buildable components there, but my skin, <laughs> it looks great. It looks great. Okay, so moving on to the concealer, I have two shades in the Invisible Touch Concealer, M220 and F120. This is the lighter and the deeper. Uh, I'm gonna try the lighter one first, F120. Yeah, actually that seems like the perfect shade. I'm gonna try blending it out with my finger first. And I can move to a brush if need be. It looks really nice. They're very creamy. It's a very, very creamy feeling. I think the F120 is perfect. The M220 might have to save for later in the summer. <laughs> a little bit on my chin and just around my mouth here where I have all these spots and more redness. Just right around this area. And for this, I'm actually just gonna take my foundation brush, my buffing brush, and just pop that around. It's quite creamy. It's quite thick. I'm definitely gonna wanna set this with pressed powder. So I have their, their translucent powder here in this lovely little red edition packaging. So I'm gonna take a little brush, tap it off, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use some of that powder to set in that concealer, just a very, very light amount. It smells like, uh, it smells like Play-Doh, like the old, cans like the multicolored lid <laughs> cans of play-doh that's what it smells like it seems to have a slight blurring effect too i love it when powder has that it's so fun so we'll wait and see how the base gets on so far honestly i'm pretty pretty stoked about it it really just looks like my skin let's move on to the bronzing products i have these two in the in the classic metal cases this is the shade basque and this is the lustrous cream bronzer. I've used and loved their cream products before. I've never tried their powder bronzer, so I wanna test this out, take her for a, a whirl. So I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush. Ooh. This is like my perfect shade. Wow, okay, I'm gonna get in there, get into the hairline. Okay, Basque, love that. Love that, big fan. I'm a little bit scared to go over with the cream bronzer now that we've done powder. I also have cream highlight and cream blush. So hopefully it'll be okay. Let's test it out. This is the shade Lustrous. Oh, oh, no worries at all. That looks great. Kind of looks like blush. Maybe it's just because my, my face turns red when I brush things onto it. I love that. That's so nice. That's so like perfectly sun-kissed, lustrous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sometimes after I apply bronzer, I go back with my foundation brush and I just clean up a little bit, make the lines a little bit more sharp just because I get a little application heavy with my products. Okay, let's go move on to the highlighter. This is a product I've had for a long time in my collection. This is the shade Ravishing. I do believe I've used this previously in a clean beauty video but their their cream products are phenomenal they're gorgeous and i'll just pop that along the top here not too much just a little bit i feel like even though we applied a, a matte foundation a lot of the glow still does remain on the skin so okay the blush is another product i've loved from kyra weiss this one has gotten a lot of love like look at that dent i've used this one so much this is the shade blossoming oh you know what maybe we will actually I wanted to say that in their red edition, I also have the shade Desired Glow, which in comparison is like a much more corally nude, which is nice. Maybe we should do that instead. Actually, yeah, you know what? What the hey? Let's go ahead and use Desired Glow. I'm actually just gonna take my same bronzer brush. I need to get a second one of these Smith brushes. This is the Smith 157, the one I've been loving for cream bronzer, but I really like it for cream blush too. Oh yeah, that's such a pretty color. Oh, you guys, you guys. Considering the mix of powder and cream products here, everything is blending together so nicely. I am, I am very pleased with this right now. 
very pleased. I did do my brows beforehand, so I'm gonna dip into eyeshadow next. Now these are the original eyeshadow packages. This one is the shade Earthy Calm, and this one's the shade Charmed. These are the two shadows I have from Kyer Weiss. And then I had actually gone to the detox market to buy a different shade, not realizing that they had actually sent the Earthy Calm in the Red Edition packaging, so now I have two Earthy Calms, which is hilarious, but that is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Charmed with a nice big fluffy brush. This just seems like a nice, yeah, a nice like creamy transition shade. So I'm just gonna rub that all over my eye. I love these little packages, it's the cutest thing. And obviously the Red Edition is super adorable too, just like boop. And I've never actually used the shadows before. This is the first time and so far so good. I know this is a light shade, so it can definitely get away with um, not showing up patchy, but that was very, very easy to blend out. Really, really creamy. Now I wanted to go in with Earthy Calm and I'm gonna use it in the Red Edition packaging. I'm just gonna take a little brush and just, oh, I just stabbed my eye. I'm just gonna lightly smoke that out on the lash line just because I have, t I have two shades that I'm working with right now. If I just have a, a lighter and a deeper shade, I'm just gonna smoke out the lash line. And normally I would do this with my like eyeliner brush, but I'm actually just taking this small fluffy brush to give it that more smoked out look and I'm not having to go in with any additional brush after. It's just doing it itself. This is the MAC 218 brush. God, oh, this is such a pretty color. Good thing I have two of them now. <laughs> I'm not applying any extra product. I'm just taking what's left on the brush and, and kind of like connecting that wing we just drew to the bottom of my lash just to smoke it out more. Need to add a little bit more there. I rubbed it off. I'm just gonna take another brush and clean it up. I feel like I made it a little bit messy. I'm just rubbing away the rest. Okay, that's the shadow. I'm really pleased with this. This is such a great little everyday mixture. I really love how this turned out. My eyes are never even, but every day we try. <laughs> Let's move on to the mascara. This is the Volumizing Mascara. They have two. There's lengthening and volumizing. And this is a very, very small little package. I was not expecting it to be so tiny. I haven't tried this yet. It has one of those plastic pokey ones that I hate. I feel like I'm gonna stab my eyeballs with it, but it has, wow, it's really bendy. Look at how bendy this, this wand is. Oop. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take that off. I really don't like how, how bendy this is. I'm feeling, oh yeah, Ugh, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Oh God, oh God, it's like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like glooping together. Can you see the product when it does that? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh God, mascara is so finicky, man. This looks, this looks not okay. It's like, Goopy, it's like chunky. Oh guys, I don't know about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a different mascara. Okay, let's just uh, let's just not talk about this ever again, shall we? Mark Jacobs, come in and save us. <laughs> what a difference, mascara. Ugh, I mean, maybe I'm just incredibly picky with mascara, but I feel like this is just rubbing off all of the goopy bits. It's so weird. I don't know how to explain that other than goopy, goopy chunks from that mascara. But I just don't wanna have to work for my mascara. There's so many mascaras that work so beautifully. Yeah, there's some like leftover goops on my lashes, but that's okay, at least it looks a lot better. Yeah, there's so many good mascaras out there that if a mascara doesn't work for me, like right off the hop, I'm not down, because there's so, there's so many that will. Okay, so the mascara was a bust, but only one product down out of the whole bunch so far. That's a pretty damn good ratio. Let's move on to the lips. Now, I've got three lip products here. The only product I'm missing is the lip liner, and the shade I wanted was the shade Soft, but it was not available, and I hope to get my hands on it eventually. But I have a lipstick, their lip tint, as well as a lip gloss, so I'm just gonna give you a little show. This is the lipstick in the shade Calm, this really beautiful, peachy peachy nude, and I was hoping to pair this with the lip liner, which would have been a little bit deeper. I don't often just apply a nude lipstick like this by itself, which is why I'm probably not gonna end up wearing it right now. I feel like it's a really beautiful, beautiful nude, 
love the packaging. This is the Lip Tint in Blissful. You guys know I love my cool toned pink shades and this one is just, look at this packaging. How lovely is that? Let's give this one a go. I feel like my life without lip liner is just so incomplete. I think maybe I just need to accept that I, I am lip liner reliant. Well, before I apply it too much, this is the color by itself. Beautiful, cool tone pink. Love the packaging of that. I'm just gonna go over with my Victoria Beckham lip liner to give my lips some shape. Okay, I'm just gonna take a bit more of that and dab it on top. Love a good fresh pink lip, love it. Okay, and this is their gloss in the shade Treasure. Again, lovely, beautiful packaging. This is more of a nice, well, for my lip color anyway, this would be like a your lips, but better color. It's actually not too bad mixing those two products together. I thought that could have been a disaster, but it didn't turn out so bad. Let the hair out of its trap. And that, my friends, completes this look. That is my full face using the Kyrweiss products. There were so many beautiful products in here. I am absolutely astonished at how my skin looks right now. I think this is the best I felt in a makeup look in a really, really long time, actually. I just feel really fresh. I feel really, um, I feel clean. I really love how this looks. Obviously the mascara was the one product that was like no bueno for me, but as far as my skin looks, like I'm really hoping that this lasts well throughout the day because I just feel like everything blended together so nicely. Like my skin looks like my skin, but with just really natural, beautiful coverage and everything performed like beyond my expectations. There's a lot of products within the clean beauty space that I am i don't really get along with. They just don't perform as well. And I feel like for the majority of these products, the performance was there. The packaging is gorgeous. The price point's very high. So when you're spending that much on a product, you're really hoping that it is gonna be performing as the price point would suggest. And I feel like with these products, you do, you get like they just, they perform. If you guys have any favorite products from Kyra Weiss, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this makeup look and let me know what some of your favorite products were from the video, you guys. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye.